It's September 2017 and we just installed the new Construction Notes Manager version 4.2.30 beta. The installation folder and procedure were slightly different than before, but what else is different? First of all, there's now a CNM ribbon of sorts in addition to the familiar CNM pull down menu, toolbar, and keyboard commands. The ribbon provides the basic access to the things you need to control CNM as well as a button to toggle the pull-down menus on and off and find files. Beyond that, let's look and see what the readme.txt has to tell us. Readme.txt is placed in the CNM folder and is opened for us by the installation process. We already installed and we already ran a test script. So let's look at the command reference. It's located in the program directory and I can type cnm-co and that takes me to my command reference in a spreadsheet. It's sorted by default in order of decreasing coolness which is an arbitrary factor of how interested you might be to learn about a particular command along with comments about the command and why it was rated the way it was. You can find some commands that might be very interesting to you that you haven't used yet as well as some new ones that you of course haven't used yet. The readme.txt tells you that you can also sort this file by category using columns A and B. Next in the readme.txt are keyboard aliases, which are treated a little bit differently than before. CNM always had an acad.pgp aliases file that was included, but that is no longer the case. However, those same shortcuts are now included as Lisp commands. CNM includes a couple dozen optimized keyboard aliases for native AutoCAD commands, and these aliases may override some of your custom PGP aliases. If you cannot adapt to them or you need to change any of them, all you need to do is use the ham command, Haas alias manage, which is this toolbar H or ribbon H. Let's try typing ham. First of all, it asks me what, which Lisp shortcuts do I want to turn on in CNN. Do I want to turn all the standard AutoCAD aliases that used to be in CNN into Lisp routines? Well, that's not necessary because they are standard AutoCAD aliases. They aren't going to go away if I don't turn them into Lisp routines. Do I want to turn the custom CNN opinionated aliases into Lisp routines? Well, if I don't, I'm going to have to copy these into my PGP or else I don't want them anyway. Or do I want to turn none of them on? And the default is custom. I want all the custom CNM ones to still be active as Lisp routines and that's what I want. I'll take the custom ones. Then I get to open up the aliases file in CNM if I want to change any of the CNM aliases because they conflict with something else that I'm doing. Whatever it is, if I don't like the EG command because I have my other favorite one, I can either stick a comment on it to turn it off or change its name to something else. And when I'm all done making those changes, I can click OK and it will load my changes. Next we have a little laundry list of cool new stuff. We got the ribbon interface we saw. The bubble notes are now all shapes in one. They are dynamic blocks that you can choose the shape of on the fly with no fanfare, which is distinctly an improvement. 
Next, the bubble notes now include handy draggable wipeouts. Set your wipeout frame to two so they don't plot. And you can resize the wipeouts to cover the area of your drawing that you want to, to hide underneath your bubble notes. Next we have a new cool contour elevate and label command CEL. Specify a point at the starting elevation. I don't have one or T for text. I'll, I'll just hit T for text and type in an elevation 1256. Select the contour to elevate. Well, the spacing is 40 feet. I like that. Let's make it 50 feet. 1256 and oh I didn't type spacing spacing 50 feet <laughs> pick the contour to elevate it creates a, a vanilla labeling block and it elevates and labels them so that they're now all at their elevations and this is to help us turn polylines into contours we may want to add to a 3D surface. Next, an LX Plus called LXX isolates layers for selected objects in the layer palette and it has several options. I can type LXX say I want to use a selection set and just pick these and it'll isolate them in the layer palette. Oh, once I hit continue. I can also do nested layer style where I pick one at a time and I say LXX and I say I'll take this layer and I'll take this layer continue and I get those layers in the layer palette. Next is an optimized lengthen command with dynamic as the default so I just type LE and dynamic is the default and there it is. Next we have CB and VB, the copy and paste at 0 comma 0. Very fast way to go between drawings with a copy paste. We've got acres, square feet, square yard, and square mile area commands. So if I type square mile, there it is, zero square miles. We've got the printable keyboard commands list spreadsheet. We've got twist view and set UCS to a new view with TZ. This is significant because this is really the easiest, the only really easy way to create an accurate twist of a view. So if I want my drawing to be aligned with this line of this profile, I would type TZ and I would say end point of this to the other end point of this. Now my drawing is aligned exactly to that with the UCS turned and set to the view. Very fast and accurate. And finally, another example is quick MView locking and unlocking. MVL and MVU. Very simple, but quick. Scrolling down, we have some fixes and improvements. Bubble notes gracefully stay away from non-annotative dimension styles. In the past, they, they couldn't handle annotative dimension styles. Now they just gracefully stay away from non-annotative, and they, are an they like annotative, and everything is annotative in the new version, so they don't associate to them. Next, CNM checks for project mistakes. For example, if you copy in any or uh, cnmproj.txt, you might have accidentally edited uh, another project, which was quite catastrophic perhaps. Now CNM checks for project mistakes like that and asks you if you made a mistake. There's now a link to project. Uh, command on, you know, on the toolbar and in the and prominently in the menu so that you can link multifolder projects to a single cnm.any uh, all the commands now work 
with annotative scaling or dim scale equals zero, which is a modernization effort. Other changes, there's lots of behind the scenes cleanup. Uh, old functions, there's been some optimization of keyboard commands. Oh, that's not what this is about. This says where there used to be custom code that only could be done in Lisp in the 90s and the aughts, now there are commands in AutoCAD that will do them. THA can be lay thaw. ONA can be lay on. They're now aliases for standard AutoCAD commands. And as mentioned above, the old ACAD.PGP aliases have been converted to Lisp commands. You can change or customize this using the HAM command. A few command aliases have been shortened or changed. ONA, you can use ON. THA, you can use TH. And this is a big one. Y means layer. So ASCLCHM is now Y, 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 Y. And OFI, ONA can now be YI and YU. Y isolate and Y unisolate. Clone is also available as CCC. And RRR has been promoted to high dollar real estate to just be R. Some commands have been retired that no longer are useful and they're listed there. And that's a wrap up of the big changes in CNM 4.2.30 beta. Thanks for watching.